Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be taking a look at another Extra Bees machine. This time we're going to have a look at the Gene Pool and the Gene Pool is the first step in, in some of the, the more advanced Extra Bees processes. Uh, there are other more advanced machines and they kind of build on what this Gene Pool does for you. And what it will do for you is it will break down all your surplus drones and turn them into DNA, um, liquid DNA, which can be stored like a normal uh, Billcraft liquid in tanks, iron tanks, uh, or any other method of storage for uh, Billcraft liquids that comes along, like liquid storage carts and things like that. Now, if we have a look at the interface. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit different to probably most other machines in that it incorporates itself with your inventory. Um, why does that, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, this bar on the left hand side is your power bar. And it takes Billcraft power, so you're going to need um, one of the engines or some of the engines to power it. Uh, with the exception of the redstone engine, which won't be strong enough, you've got the Stirling engine, combustions, the railcraft engines that we've got installed, and the red power one, thermal expansion, forestry, they will all do the job. And if you also look at the tooltip, it says that it's going to use 5 MJ a tick, and the maximum input is 7. So that gives you an idea of how much power it's going to use. Uh, to get it running all the time you're going to need five sterling engines or one biogas engine running on biomass. A uh, combustion engine running on fuel will be I think it's 6MJ now so that's a little bit stronger uh, but is well within the maximum input so you should be fine with that. Um, Otherwise, you w you will need a, a regular Billcraft engine, or in fact a Redstone Energy cell, which is what I'm going to be using. And the Redstone Energy cell, if you haven't seen it, I'll have a spotlight on that. It basically stores Billcraft energy for you, and you can let that energy out at a controlled rate, a configurable rate. Uh, so I'll be using that to power this, just to, to keep things easier on the spotlight, the focus on the gene pool. Now. The rest of this, uh, as you can see here, uh, it's complaining that it's got no B. Uh, the B's go in this left hand side here, and this is the tank for the DNA, the resulting DNA. Uh, so let's have a look at how we make this machine. Now it's, it's a three step process, I guess, and it starts with the Apius machine which uh, is the basic machine block the extra bees adds and that's a sturdy case with the copper on the side and the redstone up above and below so that is the basic one and that's uh, the same machine that you use to make uh, say the data bank or, or the indexer the next machine along is the genetic machine now that is kind of an upgraded Apris machine and we're going to need a small circuit board which uh, you will make in the carpenter from forestry you're also going to need iron ingots and a bit of lapis as well as that Apris machine and that's going to upgrade it to a genetic machine which goes in the middle here with some tanks gold redstone and glass and that's going to give you your gene pool which is what we've got here now I have a little setup here and basically I've, I've got my redstone energy cell to apply the buildcraft power I've got some liquid ducts with a redstone signal to extract the DNA just to show that you can uh, pump this along buildcraft pipes and one thing to note is that it doesn't cope particularly well with stacked drones at the moment and stacked drones is something that um, forestry has recently added but if you put a stack of drones if I do that you will see you only get the same amount of uh, of DNA as you would from one it's not really working correctly and we can put any kind of drone in here so if I put in some modests 
and the best bet is to put them in individually like that which is going to make it a little bit awkward right now to uh, to actually uh, automate this process because these bees are naturally going to stack um, you could possibly do it with a router I guess and yeah that, that would be my best bet but otherwise you're probably going to have to do this manually for the time being until uh, until this gets uh, bug fixed or brought up to date with uh, the latest forestry uh, so as you can see this is generating this DNA which is this very funky pink colour and that's going into this buildcraft tank which is very cool and there are other machines later on that will make use of this DNA and I will cover those in the next few days or co cover the process in the next few days should I say so there we go guys there's the gene pool it's doing its thing it's, as you can see it does work fairly quickly so uh, you won't be hanging around too long if you are feeding it in manually though I guess that really depends how many bees you've got I know bees can get out of hand quite quickly anyway thanks for watching um, please hit that subscribe button and follow me over on Twitch and on Twitter and I'll see you next time